Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the half-ton pickups on the lot. But before we get into that, hopefully you just had a chance to watch CJ on his video uh, with the stock trailer. You know, these two pair up very nicely together, and I'm sure you could see that in the previous video as well as, as this one as well. So after we visit about this pickup a little bit, if you decide that this package would really work and benefit you, you know, give either CJ or I a call because I've really seen the GM step up and give some amazing discounts when people purchase a package deal, kind of a truck and a trailer, that sort of thing. So that's something to sure keep in mind. We're going to talk about a Ram 1500 today. So there's a lot of history behind the Ram brand. It goes clear back to 1925 when Walter Chrysler created the, the Chrysler Group. In 2009 is when Chrysler restructured everything and uh, became Ram trucks for the 1500, the 2500, and the 3500 as well. The engine behind this truck is a Hemi, and we're going to take a look at that, really an engine that needs no introduction. The Hemi was, goes back all the way to 1965. Uh, 1971, the environmentalists shut them down because it was too hard on the, on the air. Well, they relaunched in 1981, predominantly in race cars. In 2002, the 5.7 Hemi was put into the Ram 25 and 3,500 pickups. And then in 2003 is when it was put into the half tons. So obviously it's an engine that's been around a long time, a pickup and an engine that's proven itself. So you can feel very comfortable that you're buying a high quality vehicle. So this is a 2019 Ram 1500. It has just a touch over 37,000 miles on it. The trim level is Bighorn. This is stock number 5U. 201366. Now let's take a look directly in front of the truck. A couple of things to notice. This is the fifth generation Ram 1500. And one way I could tell that is right here. The four previous to that had that Ram logo right there. Well, this simply spells out the word ram it comes with led lights on the side ram stated right there as well in addition tow hooks located here and on the other side let's take a look under the hood that is the 57 hemi V8. One thing I like about this specific pickup, or a lot of the Rams, is look how much room we have under here, guys. We can actually do stuff. You see these, especially on the big diesel trucks now, everything is so compact and so crammed in there. I mean, it's just hard to get around. We can check the oil right here. Washer fluid up here. Right here is the battery. It comes with a cover for the cold months as well. So as previously stated, that's an engine that really needs no introduction because of the power and durability that it brings to the table. As we start to walk around, we put brand new tires on there. These are BF Goodrich. We chose to go with an all-terrain type tire. One Merely where, where we live, you know, we're getting the snow and ice and get on into the summer where mud is a definite possibility. So brand new tires, and that's the reason why we chose those. Here's the 1500 emblem with the Hemi 5.7. Yet another thing I admire about this specific truck is the color of it. You know, just kind of a conservative, clean maroon it's not that look at me red, just a nice sharp color as well. When we take a look inside the driver's seat, it's 
some things to notice. The seats, although they're not leather, they are heated. And once we get inside, I'll show you how to do all that. Here's where we can adjust the seat, front and back. Adjust the back of the seat right here. We can adjust pedals right here. This is our parking brake here, and hood latch is right there. We take a look inside the rear driver's side. Obviously that seat's up, and I did that for a reason. In case we aren't using the seat, you can see how much storage capacity is back here if we are hauling things. Furthermore, there are a couple of charging ports located here. It has its own vents back here to blow either hot or cooled air towards the passengers in the rear. Obviously under here is our gas tank. You know, the truck does have a few miles on it. It was mainly used for delivery purposes. So a lot, as you can see, there isn't any scratches along the outside of that. The interior is in remarkable shape as well. As we take a shot right here, we can see how we're hooked up today. And I realize the safety chains aren't hooked up. We're not going anywhere, guys. This is just for video purposes. But here's where we plug in the lights and the bumper pull hitch located there. In addition, here is our backup camera, which came in very handy this morning. A couple of things also, right there is our big horn label, and obviously this is a four-wheel drive truck. As we continue to walk around, basically we get a three-quarter view from here. We can see the lights in the back as well, LED. And if you notice here, it says Ram on here as well. So, I mean, when they produce these, these are proud of their trucks. That's why we see Ram kind of all over the place. Well, there's a reason for that. They've proven themselves through history uh, in terms of durability and things like that. So that's why that stuff is there. As we take a look from this angle, it's a very soft seat as well, and for a half-ton pickup, there's a lot of room in here. I mean, this seat is pushed actually back, so there's still a substantial amount of room. In addition, the storage component right there. Let's take a look at the inside. Still another thing I like about this truck, and as you can tell there's a lot of them, is the Bighorn package. And one reason I like it is there's enough bells and whistles in here to make you comfortable, but there isn't too much that's going to overwhelm you. You don't have to be basically a rocket scientist to figure out where everything is and how it works. So it's a push button start right here, and just like all Chrysler products, it comes with Uconnect, they call it. And right here, you can push Uconnect is everything it does, okay? So I, as I mentioned, heated seats located right here. The backup camera <clears throat> located right there. Well, climate control, we can do everything from that, basically that one screen. We can dim the, the mirror lights. So if we have a night headlights come up behind us that's kind of blinding us, we can dim that right there. We can turn on the, the passenger seat heaters located there. It does come with a heated steering wheel located right there is where we would adjust that. Radio located here. So when you purchase this truck from me, before you, even, before you ever leave, we're gonna do a couple of things. We will set up all your presets for your radio in addition to that, we're gonna hook up the Bluetooth because that's a safety feature that's sure gonna benefit you, especially for those of you guys that travel a lot. As we pan on down, here is for our four-wheel drive. We have it set to auto right now. 
and the way that works is as soon as a tire starts to spin it'll set itself into four-wheel drive as we come on over you can do this uh, seats and steering wheel located here as well here's basically I mean just a basic climate control here is our trailer brake located here park assist if you're towing like we are now with the trailer hooked up our parking sensor in the back and parking sensor in the front you can turn those off and on located right here a couple more charging ports located here now this truck you can do several things from the steering wheel as well as previously stated we can set up your your bluetooth so you can answer and make calls from right here cruise control is located right here now there is quite a bit of storage that comes with the truck pop that up and there's a little bit right here and you can pop that up again so that goes all the way down here thanks for change located here a couple of cup holders located here so once again a very nice truck that we have on the lot today if you're interested in that or the combination of the pickup and the trailer please give us a call again my name is Larry Vickers my cell phone number 970-370-4067 the work extension 303-684-3404 feel free to email me larry.vickers at transwest.com thanks for tuning in today